Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this virtual meeting of Council. All members of the Council have been invited to attend this meeting electronically, and we've received apologies from Councillors Bunting, Duffield, Minnis, New and Shaw because of their work commitments, and also Councillor Mrs Churchill. Ian, do we have any further apologies, please? Uh, Councillor Rigby, I'll put it in the chat. Thank you, Councillor Rigby. I've also had apologies from Councillor Carey. Any more? Councillors um, New, Walsh, Taylor, um, Bennett, Dr. Carr, and Stennett, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, Councillor Jerome, uh, who uh, will hopefully be able to join us soon. Thank you. We got all those in. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure we all appreciate that uh, the timing makes it difficult for some members. Um, moving on, um, can I remind everybody when participating in this virtual meeting to please remember to mute your microphone when not speaking, to use the chat facility to indicate to me if you would like to speak, and finally to leave the meeting once it ends with the little red button. Um, so moving on, item one, announcements. Um, it is my very sad duty to um, inform Council of the passing of former Councillor David Merrill. Uh, Mr Merrill was the member for Village Ward from 1983 to 1987 and for Bowdoin Ward from 1988 to 2008. He had a very distinguished um, a, a career on Trafford Council, uh, rising in the end to become Deputy Leader and was the Mayor of Trafford from 1997 to 1998. Um, so can we all just uh, take a moment of silence just to remember Mr Merrill and his family, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, obviously, the funeral has taken place in accordance with the current restrictions, but I have been in contact with his family to convey uh, Trafford's fondest wishes to them. Moving on, um, le item one, leader, do you have any further announcements, please? No, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item two, then, um, I invite Councillor Tom Ross, the Executive Member for Finance and Investment, to introduce the report and move the recommendations regarding the redesignation of Leisure Centre Refurbishment Earmarked Reserve. Councillor Ross, please. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, this afternoon, I'm seeking Council's approval to redesignate the Leisure Centre Refurbishment Earmarked Reserve as the Leisure Reserve. Council will be aware that restrictions to control the spread of COVID-19 were introduced in March and required the closure of all leisure centres. The actions to protect public health from the virus were crucial. However, the impact has caused a considerable deterioration of Trafford Leisure's trading position. Last week, the government announced that indoor leisure facilities and swimming pools will be allowed to open from the 25th of July. However, the necessary requirement of social distancing measures and an enhanced cleaning regime will mean that Trafford Leisure's financial position will not improve immediately. Trafford Leisure does not have reserves in place and would not be able to secure a finance from a commercial lender. Trafford Leisure was set up with the council as sole shareholder and responsible for underwriting its financial position. Therefore, if Trafford Leisure ceased to trade as a company, the council would be required to pick up the responsibilities of the staffing and other associated costs. In the light of this, there is a strong case for the Council and Trafford Leisure to work together to keep the company's financial position under review on a month by month basis. You'll be aware Council agreed to provide a loan to Trafford Leisure on the basis that it was short term support urgently required to deal with the immediate effects of the pandemic restrictions. Trafford Leisure then approached the Council to request, request a grant to cover their projected trading deficit to the end of the trading year. However, the financial position of the council has meant that it is not open to us to provide a further facility by grant or loan. What we can consider and recommend is the redesignation of the reserve originally earmarked to cover the risks to income during the future leisure centre redevelopment work. The value of this reserve is £968,000. 
We have sought the advice of leading counsel to provide assurance as to the lawfulness of any decision to provide further support to offset Trafford Leisure's ongoing liabilities. That assurance has been provided. In the meantime, we have employed Max Associates to work with Trafford Leisure to, to review the financial projections to the end of the financial year. We will also be carrying out a full review of our leisure strategy later in the year. If the council agrees to the recommendation in the paper, payments will only be advanced on a month by month basis and be subject to the approval of the corporate director for finance and systems. I stress again that if we do not agree to this course of action, then the council would be request, required to pick up the responsibilities for the staffing and other associated costs were Trafford Leisure to cease trading. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the report. Thank you, Councillor Ross. Um, I understand this will be seconded by Councillor Weston. Councillor Patel, Mr. Mayor, sorry. Councillor Patel, then. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'd like to second this report. Um, Councillor Ross has covered the financial and legal background uh, to this report. Could I just please make uh, a few broader points about our leisure service? The COVID crisis has had and will continue to have a big impact on council services and more widely on our economy. Sectors like leisure have been particularly hard hit and will continue to be impacted by social distancing requirements and more broadly by a potential reshaping of the leisure market. Work continues with Trafford Leisure to develop a reopening plan that maximises income and reduces expenditure. And we will be working closely with Trafford Leisure on a month by month basis to review the support needed. This reopening plan will be communicated publicly in the next week or so. I would like to thank Trafford Leisure and Council staff who have been working with dedication and under great pressure to protect, protect our leisure offer. It's been a very challenging and uncertain time. Offices and our partners have demonstrated that even under such circumstances, a constructive way forward can be found. The decision to allow more flexibility with the allocation of this reserve is welcome and will help stabilise leisure services in Trafford in the short to medium term. What's needed in the longer term, however, is a more sustainable leisure offer. This decision today provides us with a breathing space which will allow us in conjunction with our partners to undertake an in-depth review of what and how we deliver our leisure services locally. Just like to, to finish really, the impact on of the COVID crisis has really highlighted health inequalities in Trafford and we will continue to work closely with partners to narrow this gap. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Patel. Um, I haven't had any indications that anybody wishes to speak on this. Um, can anybody who does wish to do so please indicate on the um, chat bar no there are a couple of hands mr mayor in the participant list got to look at hands have i right hang on um whose are the hands i'm sorry i can't keep track of everyone's hands all right councillor coggins please thank you chair uh the green group will are happy to support this move today um it's really important. We know that there is a strong COVID related public health argument for keeping people as active as we can at the moment. There are very few things we can do to, to help um, to help residents of Trafford through the next year. And one of them is to help keep people um, strong and fit and active. So I think supporting our leisure centers um, and everything else that we can do that will support people being fit and active and being in the strongest condition they can is, is very important at the moment. Um, my one uh, word of, of caution is just having read through the paper and having read through the previous paper, which I believe went through in 2015, that was also actually an urgent uh, piece of business, just to, um, to echo Councillor Patel's calls for a more sustainable leisure strategy in the long run. We, we've, we, we need to show that we really value our leisure centres uh, and that we have a, a long term sustainable plan. So I look forward to seeing that coming through in, in the medium term. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Coggins. Councillor Myers, please. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I think it's fair to say that in view of the, um, the current situation, the COVID situation, 
there's no real alternative to this. I think it's a, a well-formulated uh, approach and I, I can't see any realistic alternative. But what I would say is in um, section 17 of the report, it talks about um, the future um, beyond 2021. Um, I just wonder what plans have been made if the financial situation isn't any, any better at that time. So in other words, we're still in a difficult situation with, with uh, finance. Bear in mind that the council is also in a difficult situation with finance. Where will the money come to support it? Because at the end of the day, it's a non-statutory function. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Myers. Councillor Ross, you don't have to come back to that, but do you wish to? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, first of all, uh, thank you to Councillor Coggins for her comments and also to, to, to Councillor Myers. In terms of um, what Councillor Meyer says about the replenishment of the reserves, obviously at the moment we're continuing to press the government to recognise the situation with leisure centres, which I know is an issue across the country. The government has come forward with some proposals, but it's not quite clear yet that we would be covered from them. So we're in, we're, as far as I understand it, we're still in discussions with, uh, with the government about that. And we'd hope that we'd get additional support through to um, support our leisure strategy, our leisure centres, and obviously, importantly, to build up those reserves again. Thank you very much, Councillor Ross. Um, I've had no further indications. Um, so with that, um, could I um, take a view as to whether this can be agreed by consensus or is there any dissension in that? Everyone happy, Councillor Evans? I can consensus, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Councillors Coggins and Newgrosh. Everyone happy? Yes, happy for consensus. Thank you, everyone. Uh, with that, um, I think we can uh, take it as it is all agreed, um, and therefore the recommendations have been approved. Um, thank you, everybody, for agreeing to this meeting at the last minute. I'm sure you agree it's um, an important subject to discuss. Um, before we go, can I once again just thank all members who have uh, contributed to uh, helping our most vulnerable residents over the lockdown period. Uh, I'm sure it has been very much appreciated and I know a lot of people have been involved. So thank you very much. Um, stay safe. Uh, and that is the end of the meeting, ladies and gentlemen.